Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got something way different than ever. I have a different kind of review to do for you today. I got um, an email from Maggie Lee from Fan CD, and she wanted to know if I would review these knives, this knife set from Everrich on my channel. And at first, I was a little hesitant, but I decided, why not? Let's go ahead and do it. And I have to say that I didn't know what the knives were going to look like or anything. <laughs> and when they arrived and I opened up the box and I saw this beautiful box with these beautiful colors on it, I thought it might not be nail related, but you could so make it work. So I have painted my nails to match the beautiful knives. It came in this gorgeous box that's got the magnetic, you know, tab. And you open it up, and look how gorgeous. Now, they, all the knives came with these little knife tips on them to protect, you know, I guess during shipping. And there, there's a vegetable peeler. And then you've got a paring knife. And um, you've got your chef's knives and your bread knives and your um, carving knife. And they're just gorgeous. So I'm going to pull these out of the box, and we're going to do a demo and you guys get to see one of my other passions. Not only nails and nail polish, but I also love to cook. So this is going to work for me. Alrighty, I'm right back. back. I have washed all the knives and I'm ready to go. I'm going to start with the chef knife. The big knife. Because I have a big fat onion that I need to cut. And just to remind you, I'm not getting paid by um, Vincidi to do this review. I'm just giving them a review for my honest opinion. I'm not going to get a kickback. Um, so I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> and we're going to have to keep taking some more out of this onion. Because it's got a boo-boo looking thing in it. And I want to get all the yuckiness off. But just so you know, I am going to include the recipe that I am using all of these ingredients in. I will list that down in the description box for you. And just so you know, I'm making an easy deep dish pizza pie. It, um, it is going to work with my new eating plan. So look how awesome that is. I do love to cook, and I do love to find good recipes to feed my family. And I'm just going to chop these all up. This knife is working great. Loving it. Love it, love it. We're just going to continue on. Keep on chopping this onion. This is working really great. Uh, you know, I was really impressed with how pretty they were, but I also wanted to make sure that they were good knives. And they are, in my opinion, just excellent. Look how gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to get these onions out of the way, and we're going to head on okay, to the Okay, next I want to demo the vegetable peeler. It's a very cool peeler. I used to have one that was shaped kind of like this, and I loved it. Now, carrots do not go in my deep dish pizza pie, but I wanted to be able to review all of the products. If I can hold on to the carrot. I do like how this is angled. It's easy for me to hold, and I'm not running the risk of getting my fingernails involved in the cutter, which has happened before. I have actually had that happen, but this is working really great. I do love it. I love the way it feels in my hand. It's not its not obnoxious. It's not hard to hold. So there we go. We have a nicely peeled carrot, so the carrot peeler. Thumbs up from me. Okay, next we're going to chop up some of these pepperonis and make them smaller. For the recipe, you could leave them whole if you wanted to. You could just leave them, you know, solid. But um, I like to kind of spread them out in the dish to where we have, you know, a bite of pepperoni in every every bite we take. So I'm just going to cut those. Man, that was awesome. I like that. So we're going to do some more of those. I love pepperoni. I'm bad. I love, love the bad stuff. Here we go. We're going to get another whopping pile of them. I love the way these knives, the grip on them is just so nice. It's kind of rubberized, and I really like that. So even if my hands were wet from washing my hands in between everything, 
I think I would really still be able to hold on to this knife really well. So there we go. We've got our pepperoni all sliced up. We're going to get that out of the way. <clears throat> and so we have tried the Big Chef knife and the, I don't know what this one's called. I guess I should have checked. But I would call it, you know, like a paring knife or a chef's knife. So I will grab something else to chop up and we'll be right Okay, back. I'm back and I'm going to use the little paring knife. These mushrooms are just too big for my casserole. I don't like things that big. Uh, uh, you, uh, uh, uh. I like things to be more bite size. I love this little knife. Oh, I love this is one of my favorite knives in the kitchen anyway, but um, it works it's working really good for for this. So I'm just going to continue chopping these up. Making them more bite size. I mean, I bought them sliced for a reason, but to have to come home and re-slice them some more is just kind of silly, but they were beautiful, and I decided to go ahead and get them. So, I'm going to finish these mushrooms up, and I'll be right